Wednesday. It is about 8.30 in the morning and I am getting myself ready and together for the day. Not together because this is where it's going to this is how together I'm going to be for the rest of the day. So today I'm going to be working on Christmas stuff still, but first I have to do my normal daily routine stuff and that is make up my bed and go clean up the kitchen. Uh, Brian made breakfast again this morning, which was so nice. And um, so I need to go clean up the kitchen. Um, he's at work in his office and uh, I'm just gonna get started with my day. I want to finish getting some of this Christmas stuff up here. I left this morning around 7 o'clock and went to Walmart and picked up a few more things for the Christmas tree. I will show you guys that in a little bit. I want to get this bed made up. I have some clothes that I need to fold up. I'm going to be doing laundry. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning and I'm going to be doing a lot of decorating and Christmas stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Probably the next over the next week or so, that's what I'm going to be doing even into next week until I get it all done. So I'm looking at my tree and I just think it's it's pretty. It just is missing something. So I'm going to be working on that today. But first things first, I'm not going to bore you guys. We're not going to make up the bed together. I'm not going to clean the kitchen. I'll just catch up with you guys when I am done. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so here is a sneak peek of my tree. I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up at Walmart. So I picked up these picks that have like little white berries attached to them. I picked up this ribbon and I picked up these um, like ornaments or bulbs. Like they're, they come in different colors. Like so that's like a darker like green. This is like a lighter green. Uh, and I just picked up I think 10 of these. And then I picked up this ribbon that I have going around it as well. And then these ones came with the colored bulbs that I just showed you, colored balls. So those ones came with it. And then I picked up these beads, which I cut this one and they all went everywhere. So I had to save as much as I possibly could and just kind of put it on here. But anyway, so this is what the tree in our master bedroom looks like. It is done. I love it. I think it looks great. I think it turned out so well. Um, you can see dark grays, silvers, a little bit of golds in there, the greens, the green ribbon, um, this ribbon that I got has a little bit of green on it. These bring out some of the green. It's just so pretty. I love the way that this turned out. I think it looks really, really good. I think that the brown beads look really good with the little brown basket down there or the brown collar. I just think it all looks really, really nice. So you guys can get like a really good close up of what it looks like. It looks so much better in person, obviously, but that's what it looks like and I love it looks so cute and now i'm going to make some banana bread with these bananas that are kind of sitting here going bad i kind of knew by wednesday they would look like this and i was just kind of waiting it off so we're going to make some banana bread today
Alrighty, so I'm still looking like a hot mess all day. I got all of the lights on the tree in the dining room and it looks really nice. I'm still kind of like adjusting and figuring out spots that are like I can see a spot right now that I need to like adjust the lights but uh this is kind of what it looks like so far I'm sure you guys will be able to see like spots too like down here needs to be filled in um but I'll start tweaking all of that once I get you know all of the ornaments and stuff on it but I also noticed a spot over here too like there's like a spot over here it's hard to see because the windows are open but our yeah, blinds are open but anyway so yeah so I have the tree up in here have it lit up I got that far today swept out underneath here got all that cleaned up so now I'm basically trying to redeem myself with the banana bread because it did not turn out very well I think it's because I put it in this little dish and uh I shouldn't have put it in this dish so it just didn't get done enough in the middle but it was like brown on the top and started kind of like getting really brown on the sides so uh yeah and we tried two pieces of it but Brian just did not like how doughy it was in the middle so and he just didn't like it it just kind of felt a little rubbery too see how it's kind of like it's weird but I followed the recipe so I'm really not sure see it's weird so anyway I'm gonna throw it out so I'm actually going to redeem myself though, and I'm making chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> and I'm using the Joanna Gaines cookbook that I have, which is this one right here, the Magnolia Table um, cookbook. That one has the best chocolate chip cookie recipe in it, and so um, that's the one I have been making. And this is what the cookies look like so far. I haven't put them in the oven, I'm just letting the oven preheat. Alrighty, oven has preheated, so I'm just going to take these over and put them in here and let those cook for about, what they say, I just forget, 11 minutes, is that right? I don't remember. No, that's 11 hours. 11 minutes, set. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> and then, uh, this came in today too, my little... A toy shop sign uh, I bought this from small woods so if you guys want to go to smallwoods.com they have really great signs um, my Christmas one that I have hanging in the dining room um, that came from there and the gather sign that I always have hanging in the dining room except for right now during the holidays but that's where I got it as well but I think this looks so cute over here and a lot of you guys had also pointed out that this spelled out joy and you are correct it does but the thing is they just don't stay up they don't stay on there very well they just kind of keep wanting to fall over so it falls over like all the time so that's as close as I'm going to get it to stay and it'll probably just fall over anyway so that's why I have it taken down for right now but anyway yes it does spell out the way. 